Hi, this is LT Survival. Tonight, in tonight's video, uh, it's a fixed blade. It's not the usual uh, review I do of my fixed blade because usually I prefer to be in the outside, in the backyard, or in the woods to do so. Uh, but this one's going to be a little special. Uh, it's uh, one I received. It's been a while. I've had this one. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, tonight we uh, review Aiton, a fixed blade knife, uh, the Zamax 2101. It comes in this beautiful box with uh, the uh, the foam cut out for the knife. It's a beautiful knife, full tang, but is rear heavy has heck in the description gearbest gives him he says they say um it is a navy duty hunting knife well it's heavy <laughs> one thing for sure it is very heavy um back heavy mainly but it's still a beautiful blade so i'm gonna show you close a close-up of the blades little more lights okay so it's a black painted uh, stainless steel 7cr17 uh, mov which uh, it's supposed to be well it is a little more strong than the uh, acr13 so there's seven part chromium and 13 of uh, uh, mov i don't remember what it is jesus and it is a normal size knife uh, the five five almost six inch blade the handle is um, slick one thing for sure it is slick and it is a full hand i'm my glove size is large to x large so it is a full hand uh the choil is not for uh, your finger it, it, you won't fit the finger so unless you have a very small one there is a finger choil here and the rest of the handle there and a uh, lanyard O with a protruder, protruding um, stock of the uh, of the blade here that you can see being through and through um, the uh, the inlays are uh, either linen micarta or um, I don't think it's G10 too it's too slick to be G10 because you see fiber into the uh, the handle I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it if you if you look here you see wavy a bit like we we seen carbon fiber it is not supposed to be carbon fiber so let me review that quickly yeah micarta so it's linen micarta and it has a steel a stainless steel inlay i've not removed but you can see the thickness and all that steel and micarta is kind of heavy too makes for the handle to be very heavy i wonder when i'm going to use it how much it's going to fatigue my hand or is it going to help i'm not sure the ergonomics is pretty good okay as you can see here you can see the micarta okay linear the whole the whole the whole side some jimping quite aggressive if you put your your thumb on it and you push you feel them a little they're a little rough but they make for a 90 degree spine for the rest of the spine, hmm, not much, but I'm sure I can pull some uh, some spark. It's really very aesthetic knife. I like the shape of it. I like the uh, the way the handle is. The weight is pretty good. It's pretty hefty. 
one big default not an expensive knife a good way of building is a, a sheet like that for large belt but it's a nylon ballist very cheap balin uh, balin very cheap nylon ballistic ballistic nylon okay uh, the uh, retainer for the uh, the belt the the uh, the handle very low on on this one and it caused one major flaw Obviously, some sheet do that, and it's your body that keeps it there. But with the, the handle so heavy, it wouldn't need it either to have it strong here or have this one longer. And that's one other problem because when you wear it to your belt, this stands to stick into your side. So there's almost an inch over. So if you wear it to your belt, you're gonna you're gonna feel this knife in your side so the nylon sheet not good at all not good at all um, it works barely but i expect it to be done for in less than a year when i'm going to start wearing this i might just go for a leather sheet i have a daughter that uh, does some veg tan leather I might just try my hand on the leather sheet so not a bad knife um, at first okay because I'm gonna test this knife eventually I'm gonna bring it to the woods I don't want it to be uh, too long of a video for just an out-of-the-box thing it cuts it is really sharp like any Zomax I had before very heavy um, not exactly sure how much weight it weighs but the 80 percent are in the end 7.4 ounces eight ounces worth of knife so it's pretty heavy um, that's it so if you like this little review quick review quick and dirty of this Zomax it's probably going to be a good carver so give it the thumbs up share and subscribe and we'll see you back in the next video